Hey everybody, it's Jeff, and uh, here's what I did today on Workbench, where I stream my open source innovation work on s Twitch. Um, so today I did a quick sort of unscheduled stream to start a Go package that provides some um, simpler uh, reflection API for Go value. So um, Go has a reflection package that's actually pretty great. It's a little low level, um, and doing basic things like calling a method or getting a property isn't as trivial as it could be. Um, and plus, the reflection of of uh, the the nature of this kind of stuff uh, means it usually takes a lot of experimentation to get right. Um, at least for me, and I've done quite a bit of Go reflection uh, projects, and it always involves trying stuff out and looking at code like it's a little it's just a little unintuitive um, so the idea was to provide an API that looks a little bit more like the syscall JS API which is used for interacting with um, JavaScript values of WebAssembly hosts so besides being simpler um, this API has methods for getting and setting properties uh, and, and calling methods and these are some of the most common operations uh, in reflection, or at least the ref stuff I do with reflection, but using um, the normal reflect package by itself just doesn't give you those, right? Um, all of its sets are for setting that particular value and then getting a field and all the stuff and dealing with uh, pointers and stuff like that. So um, that's all this is. I can show it to you. Um, you know, I think, I don't know what I'm going to do with type. So I'm mostly just embedding uh, reflex type, and I'm I'm wrapping a, a reflect value. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, it's it's again a higher level API, and there's some stuff that's pretty much the same. Um, but once you get into like get and set fields, um, you know, it it takes a bit of work. And this is again just the simple case, and calling a method. So. You know, this is stuff you'd have to do every time you 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 do this um, normally with reflect. So, um, this um, one use case for this is making um, JavaScript proxy objects um, to to Go values. So, in a WebAssembly environment, maybe you want to have your have JavaScript refer to um, objects in Go, and because JavaScript supports proxies, you could actually make them look like native JavaScript objects, and that would be really cool, and this makes that um, that much easier. You can also expose values over RPC easier because you would have to expose basically getters and setters for properties and stuff like that since you don't have, like, it's not a native concept. And so both of those things I expect to be doing. But also, I, I use reflection a lot, and this will just save a lot of time um, remembering how to do these basic op operations. Um, so anyway, I have a basic version of this, um, of some of the interesting stuff. I haven't gotten to like dealing with uh, collection type stuff yet. And I have really basic test coverage um, of, again, the simple cases. So um, it feels kind of like busy work, but it is actually useful. I might work more uh, on this off stream as needed or um, or as, as I'm working on other projects. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Oh, another interesting use case that I want to get into is using this to reflect, because I know you can do this, but it's actually kind of difficult with reflect, to reflect a Go package, right? So kind of like Python, where uh, when you import a package or JavaScript, it's an object itself, and then the 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 um, names that it exports are like fields on on an object. That's how it is in Python and and JavaScript and and um, environments that have that kind of like strong package concept. In Go, packages are not values. <laughs> Um, but you can use reflection to sort of make them feel like values. So at some point, this will be useful to basically say, here's a reflected package. 
And then of course that would be really cool to then expose over RPC or expose to JavaScript or whatever. So anyway, that's it. Let me know if you have thoughts or questions uh, in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to follow along um, or join me on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, thanks for watching.